Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Shelton. And um, my next project for this week is going to be on monarch butterflies. Now, I know that some of you are learning in your Spanish class about the big fall migration of monarchs to Mexico. It is pretty amazing that these beautiful butterflies can travel all the way from Canada and the U.S. and fly all the way to Mexico. So what happens is the, the um, monarchs start out as caterpillars and um, I have a friend at Perry School who raises or helps to rescue the, the monarch caterpillars. So her and her family, they go out and they find the little monarch caterpillars who live on milkweed and um, because that's their source of food is the milkweed plant and she takes the little caterpillars and then she puts them in a special little cage or home to protect them and she feeds them milkweed and then um, they go through the whole process of turning into these beautiful monarch butterflies and the monarch butterflies most of them in the summertime tend to live two to six two to six weeks but the um, the fall butterflies will live up to almost eight to nine months and those butterflies will migrate and fly all the way to Mexico. So I'm going to also attach a video where Miss Rixie explains the whole process to you and um, how they go about raising the butterflies and then releasing them. Um, so I have two projects today that I would like you guys to make um, that are monarch butterfly projects. The first one is you're going to need a coffee filter like this. If you don't have a coffee filter, you can just use a piece of white paper and cut out a circle like this. Okay? You can just cut out a circle. This is kind of the same process that we did when we made our Aztec Sun pro uh, project. Okay? Because we also used a coffee filter for this. You're going to take either your paper circle or your coffee filter circle and you are going to use a marker trying to find it's an orange marker or you can you can use a crayon too whatever you have but the mark the marker will work best for the watercolor effect and I'm just going to color the whole entire filter or circle orange it's going to take me a couple seconds here I'm going to color the whole thing. And the really cool thing with the marker, if you happen to use a, um, a marker like this, either a Crayola marker or this happens to just be one from Target, is when you put water on it, the color will run and blend, kind of like watercolor paint. So, let me just get the cap just off. I'm going to color this whole thing. You're going to want to get as much color as you possibly can on it. And then when I'm done, I'm going to get a paintbrush and a little bit of water. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can even take like a Kleenex or a, some sort of tissue and dip it in water. And you can dab it on this. I'm trying to get a bunch of color, but you don't have to color the whole entire thing. So after I'm done, I take my paintbrush. I dip, dip, dip it in some water, I paint it on here, and I happen to have one that's already done and dried for video purposes, so we don't have to wait for that to dry. But see, if you see how the color ran, and it turns this whole thing orange. And when it's dry, it kind of gets crispy again, or like more of a stiff paper. When it's wet, it's super... It's super floppy, so you have to be careful because it will rip really easy. Okay, <laughs> and if you do not have one of these coffee filters, remember you can color a circle piece of paper as well. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, I kind of have a picture they drew of a monarch butterfly, and this is kind of what it looks like. It has like these little kind of veins in the, in the wing and some little details. So we're going to take this and I am going to kind of 
You can do this with a marker or a crayon. It will work best with a marker if you have it. It does not have to be a Sharpie. It can um, just be kind of like a watercolor or a Crayola marker. I happen to have Crayola. Again, it can be any brand. I also have some from Target. Dark color. I think I'm going to use this so it doesn't leak through on my board. Always remember to put the caps back on your marker so it doesn't dry out. Okay. And I'm going to start making... I'm going to draw one line down the middle just like this. Split it in half. And now I'm going to start and I'm going to outline my wings like this. Okay? So I kind of did like an outline with my black. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now you're probably thinking like, wow, this is kind of weird because it's starting to look like a basketball. But we're going to do something where we're going to scrunch it up to make these look more like wings. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of make a line that comes out like this and this. Now it's really starting to look like a basketball, but I promise it's going to look like wings in a minute. And whatever I do to this side, I'm going to do to this side. Okay. Like this. And I'm going to kind of do... Starting to make little branches or little veins that come off. And again, whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. And if you guys can see, it's starting to kind of look like a tree a little bit. up in the corners. I'm going to see, do a few little designs. And really on the Monarch, these dots would be white, but obviously I'd, many people don't have a white marker. <clears throat> so I'm going to make my dots black just for some of the detail. But normally they would be white on the butterfly. But you can just put a few black dots add for detail. I'm going to hold this up in a minute to show you guys where I put my, my black dots. The next thing you're going to want is if you have a um, pipe cleaner, great. Or if you have excuse me, now I reach across, a clothes pin, that's great. Something else that would work really well is sometimes when you get bread, they have little little twist ties like this that come on the bread. I didn't happen to have one to show you, but some of you might know. You can uh, repurpose that as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and do you see how I put the line in the middle? I'm going to start crunching this in the middle like this. I'm going to scrunch it down. And when I scrunch it in the middle, so it kind of looks like a bow, or it looks like butterfly wings. <clears throat> now again, if you have a clothespin, you can clip it like this, and this becomes your butterfly. And the the body of the monarch butterfly right here would be black. So I'm going to take my marker. <clears throat> I'm going to color on this black to make my body black. Now, if you don't have a clothespin, that's okay. Because not a lot of people have clothespins around their house. I happen to have this because I hang things on my art bulletin board with it. But I know not a lot of people have them. So I put that like that. If you don't have this, if you have a piece of string, you can use a string. Or if you have a pipe cleaner, which is another thing not a lot of people just have laying around their house. You can twist this around. 
with this and you can kind of curl these. Take your butterfly like that. Okay. So it's kind of like this. If you do not have this, remember you can use the tie off of a bread. Um, you can simply just take a piece of tape and tape it together. So let me show you that version as well. So I just have some tape. Well, I have it very twisted up with my, you know, I have some tape. So I would just take a piece of tape and tape the middle. Anything you can find to scrunch that middle together. Okay, I'm going to take my tape. She's not coming out very easy. Let's see. There we go. Got a little piece. I'm going to wrap that around the middle and scrunch it up like this. That holds it together. Be creative with whatever you have to kind of hold it together. Okay. And again, if you don't have a coffee filter, you can use regular paper. It's a little bit tougher to scrunch the regular paper, but if you look, the regular paper will still work. It'll just take a little bit more effort. And again, before you scrunch it up, you're going to want to color it orange. Okay, and this will be your finished butterfly project with using this method with the paper or the coffee filter. Now, if <clears throat> you don't want to do that type of butterfly, you can just take a piece of paper and you can draw the butterfly on a piece of paper. So what I did is I drew the butterfly on this just this regular white piece of paper. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this butterfly out. Now the monarch butterflies are orange and black, so you're going to want to, I made his body a little too long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut his body off a little bit. And I'm going to cut this extra white paper off, so then when I'm done, all I'm going to get is this. little antenna, a little tough to cut around, but okay. so now I've cut this butterfly out, and I have this really cute butterfly. Um, on this one, if you look real close, I did have a white crayon that I could go on top with this, which is a little easier because this was regular paper and not the thin paper of the coffee filter, um, so that worked a little bit, a little bit better. So you can also do this. So you have two choices. You can do the paper butterfly like this, or you can do the coffee filter butterfly. Again, be super creative. Um, be resourceful with your supplies. I know you all don't have the same things that I have here, which is okay. So just try your best. I look forward to seeing your beautiful creations, and I will be sure to share them with Miss Rixie, the teacher from Perry, who does the, um, the, uh, Butterfly rescue, like she, like I said, she saves uh, the caterpillars for, from predators and she keeps them safe so that she can release them back into, into nature, into the wild. So make sure you watch Miss Rixie's video, make sure you make one of these awesome creations and 